right. <laughs> so welcome back. Um, we're back again with another install. Um, we're gonna link somewhere up above what we did this last time. So on uh, Old Blue over here, we actually just recently installed some motor mounts. Um, the motor mounts that we had didn't even look like they belonged under, but it said Subaru, so I guess it was correct. Um, so the engine felt like it was moving a lot like this, um, or pivoting. Um, hopefully there's no more noise from the neighbors over here. <laughs> um, but what we didn't do, and we should have done, um, but we want to do a separate video is replace the pitch top mount. So we have the motor mounts replaced. We're going to replace the pitch top mount. Um, we had done an unboxing of these, uh, I think it was this carbon fiber looking hood struts. Um, where we actually got the, the, the pitch top mount. So we've actually had it in the house for a few months now. Now we had some time. But after we installed the motor mounts, we took it for a drive and we are still getting a lot of knock. Um, I still feel like there's a lot of movement within the engine. Um, it could have been where the motor mount stiffened up and now the pitch top mount is getting all the vibrations. So um, we got some tools over here. We're gonna take part um, what we need to. So this one's actually a little bit simpler. All we're doing, unlike the motor mounts, all we're doing is taking off this top mount intercooler, taking it off, removing the two bolts for the pitch top mount, right? Putting the new one on, put the intercooler back on. And that should be it. I know for a fact, you're gonna watch me struggle as I hate this damn intercooler. Taking it off, it's easy. Putting it back on, it's not. Hopefully we don't have that much struggle with it, but um, yeah, then we'll get back to you on uh, what we're gonna um, We went with the Cobb pitch top mount. Um, I know there's a lot of options out there, but I think when we ordered this one, it was probably the only one that was uh, at the right price, I guess you would say. So um, it's just a Cobb pitch top mount. What we used on the motor mounts was the STI Group Type N. Um, so we'll see how much of a difference it makes. Like I said, um, when we replace the motor mounts, there was before we replaced them, there was a lot of movement going in this direction. Um, I feel like now that that's stiffened up, I feel like now there's movement in this direction. Um, I think it has a lot to do with whenever the clutch comes into contact. So um, this should fix that problem. So uh, we'll show you over here what we're going to be using. Um, I'm using what is it, eight millimeters for all the hose clamps, ten millimeters, twelve millimeters, fourteen millimeters, a really long uh, extension because I like to work up here, not down low. Um, and a 14 millimeter uh, wrench to get off the bolts. Well, I'll show you back when we get to underneath the intercooler. All right. All right, so we're gonna take off this 12 millimeter bolt then um, to take off the mount from the intercooler, the 12 millimeter bolt over here. Um, I like to loosen up the bracket here. I like to loosen up both of these are also 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter here on the, um, what is it, bypass valve. These are 10 millimeters here, eight for the hoses and eight down here, and then we should be able to remove the intercooler. So let me get started on that. So we finally got the intercooler off. I already mentioned both bolts we had to take off or remove. Um, now it's just the pitch top mount really. Um, I got a 14 millimeter uh, wrench here and then a 14 millimeter deep socket um, with a little bit of an extension here. And yeah, we're just gonna take these two, this 14 millimeter off right here and then this 14 millimeter with this nut here. It's out. All right. This is what we're working with right here. Let's see if it, oh no, it's still pretty stiff. Oof. What do you think? Let us see. So this is the old one. We took it off like this, just like that. All right, let's come to look at the new one. We haven't even unboxed it. You know, our favorite thing to do here. You should already know. If you've been following along. <laughs> and if you like haven't, blade, yeah. if you haven't been following along, go back and rewatch those videos. <laughs> All right. There's probably only one thing in this box. Instructions. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's not even hand signed. Man, these guys are getting lazy. They're just, uh, I'm just gonna print it and... All right, hold on. <laughs> we got some more stickers. A collection of, like, we have like 30 cop stickers already. Put that down somewhere. Oh, this is pretty. Hey, I like that one. We should trade. Bro, <laughs> this is nice, actually. This looks nicer than the beat rush one I have on the silver stand. Look at that. I like it. All right, let's compare real quick. Before we put them on. All right, what you think? Yeah, I like it. The old one, maybe 15, 16 years old, something like that. Brand new, just opened that out of the box. Um, this looks 
pretty freaking stiff. Um, this should make a big difference on the car whenever we're accelerating, maybe like in the low gears from preventing it from doing something like this kind of motion. So yeah, out with the olds and with the new. Let's put it on. All right, remember the orientation. That big end goes in the back. That small end goes in the front. Got this little bolt here, 14 millimeter. Oh bro, it's like tight. Toit. Alrighty. See if we can wiggle it in here a little bit. Oh man. It's gonna scratch up that nice black. Oh. Does it fit? No, it's gonna fit. I'm gonna make it fit. <laughs> now what didn't fit, or what was a pain in the ass, was what was it yesterday? Or the day before yesterday? Whatever we did. Oh, the engine mount? Yeah. Those fit real easily. Those were, <laughs> man. No wonder there wasn't that many videos. No, yeah, there was only three videos of that. Like, okay, well, a lot. now I gotta pick this up, but I can't, get it. I can't get it to move now. All right, we're gonna have to use some strength here. We have a guest here who wants to come out on video. Can you get it on there? You gotta hit it with the rubber mallet, bro. Wait on, let me see. It's on there, I just gotta move it up. Oh. There's the guest right here. Just a little bit. The bottom part right here. Move it up a little bit. Ooh. Nope. It's cool. Let me see, we can see how we're gonna... Struggle. <laughs> the struggle has begun. Struggle has begun. Here, check it out. We're gonna use this. I'm gonna try to pop it up. Yeah, let me try. Nada? Nah, it's right there. Let me see. I can't see. Yep, well, that might have done it actually. Thank you, guest. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it. That's it. That's it? That's it. All right. Well, we knew there was gonna be a slight struggle, but it wasn't gonna be here. Boom! Winning. Ooh. It's in. Winning. Winning. All right, where's my little ratchet? I don't know. <laughs> my little ratchet with all the, the hundreds of teeth. 100. Yeah, the, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for leverage, bro. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's make sure we're tightening it. That would be a good idea, what you think? Nah. Why would you want to tighten it? Just let it fall down. Oh, we fell already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've already lost one. We didn't do that on camera. We should have done that on camera. <laughs> About 40. That's about a <laughs> one Ralph Ugga Dugga. <laughs> if you know what I mean. You're making me nervous. All right. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it, honestly. That's probably one of the easiest installs we're ever gonna get in our entire life. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. We even had a fill on the access port. We did? Yeah, with a green test connector. Oh, yeah. That one was supposed to be the easiest. <laughs> Remember? Nah. All right. It's on. Woo! Woo. Should have been uh, maybe a few minutes less, but all good. For now, we just got to put the intercooler back on and take it for a run. See how it goes. So we finally got everything put back together. The intercooler being put back on was not a struggle. Um, thanks to our special guest for the help there. Um, we really, uh, really appreciate that. Um, you also helped us uh, even like mount up the lines here, which has nothing to do with the pitch stop mount, but just so you know, um, helped us out a lot. But um, yeah, that's it. We already put the motor mounts, we put the uh, pitch stop mount. More videos still to come every Friday. Um, installs now, finally. So um, yeah, make sure to let us know what you think about it. Um, Feel free to hit that subscribe button and the little bell, you know, the little thing, notification, and uh, yeah, give us a like. Thank you for watching. <laughs>